A number of factors contributed to the state of the economy in the first half of 2016. But key among the negatives includes the scarcity of fuel, the pressure on currency, the delay in the implementation of the 2016 budget, as well as some fiscal crisis. And of course, some positive sides abound, and that includes the partial deregulation of the downstream petroleum sector and the introduction of a flexible exchange rate policy. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the GDP contracted from 2.1% in the first quarter of 2015 to a negative of 0.4% in the first quarter of this year. The latest inflation figure also touched a year high of 15.6% as analysts observed poor macroeconomic fundamentals on the real sector. We had a contraction in the first quarter, we had a contraction in the second quarter, which at least theoretically is putting the economy in a recession. And the evidence of that is all over in terms of the purchasing power, in terms of uh, you know, uh, the sales that people are making, in terms of the capacity to retain jobs, in terms of the capacity to even create new jobs. You know, all these things are very manifest in what um, people can see around the economy. We saw for most of the manufacturing uh, companies, we saw some of them had to cut down in terms of their production because of the inability to import raw materials. For even for those that are into this, uh, the sales of products, uh, for some of them, they were not able to import their products because of the uncertainty within the forex or even their access to forex was, uh, was restricted. So all these contracted activities within the manufacturing sector, which led to uh, downsizing, laying off of staff within that particular space in H1 2016. The government's fiscal adjustment strategies to curtail recurrent expenditure now centers around reforms in the state oil firm, implementation of the Treasury single account, as well as information systems execution for public payroll. With these underlying fiscal strengths, analysts' projections for the second half count as a negative focus by Fitch ratings. The federal government has gone on a no deal roadshow to Europe to access the capital markets, one, for discovery of the price, and two, to see the appetite. Um, from what I understand, uh, the pricing of Nigerian credit at this time is beginning to narrow because of the adoption of a flexible exchange rate policy. So the pricing should be good, irrespective of the fact that Fitch gave us a downgrade, but I think the pricing should be good. What is important is to continue to assure foreign investors that some of these new policy reforms that have been put in place uh, will be sustained and that those policies will endure, uh, and those policies are policies that uh, are sustainable. Given the level of fiscal reforms in the last six months, the economy appears to be shifting to a market-based system. Perhaps a rapid implementation of the budget will create the perfect time of entry for the foreign investors. Temple Oshaju, Channels Television News.